Good morning. It's Mike with the 1961 Beetle. Like or subscribe if you want to help me reach a thousand subscribers. Um, I've got a couple of things I'm working on today. I'm still sort of licking my wounds from the headliner install. Um, I can, uh, you know, I've, I've taken a look at this again a number of times just to see, you know, am I okay with the way the headliner is? And, you know, so it's, it's a little wrinkly and loose, um, but overall I'm actually totally fine with how it turned out um, for the time being anyway. So uh, it looks like I, this thing is coming out a little bit, so I'll have to figure out the, this thing on the dome light clicking into place. Um, I think what's happening is this side is not uh, getting under the um, this little thing over here is not getting underneath. So the issues that I'm having, there's that this clicking into place. Okay, that's clicked into place. The other thing that happened to me is as I was installing my um, oil pressure gauge, that's the one on the right, um, all of a sudden my horn started going off all the time. And I Googled this and what I've realized is that the that tube right there can't be grounded. It has to be isolated by the grommet that's underneath and the grommet that holds the steering column there and it can't be grounded. And so I'm just sitting there thinking, how in the world did it become grounded? And then I realized what must be happening, and I haven't verified this yet, but I thought what must be happening is this bracket here is scraping there and this is grounding it right there. So I realized what I need to do is bend this away from the steering column so that it's not grounding it. And that, because initially it worked because there's paint there. And then what happened was, nope, the uh, that, that contact occurred. And this is of course grounded because it's screwed in. So I need to bend this away from it. So I'm gonna do that. Um, the other thing that I've got going on is I have my assist straps and I got these guys here which go over the assist strap and then this goes on top of it for the little coat hook and um, this part here was like uh, silver white or whatever you call it you can see underneath because uh, I painted the top of it because basically what happens is when you put this in the coat hook on top like this you can still see the left and the right of this and so um, since it's gonna be like this I made sure that I wanted to paint that so the other thing that I had to do is figure out what uh, size screw goes in here so you can see here I need to clean this off a little bit I've had dirty hands and there's a little glue on there but um, here are where the two screws are and the only thing that I have found out is I believe this is this screw here has the proper threading and so I got a little nut there's a screw and they have to have the um, sort of v-shaped top to go in and so what I got to do is go to Lowe's and get four screws like this that are probably like three quarters of an inch long or or even a little longer. So um, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to Lowe's now, see if I can get this adhesive off of here. I've got dome light is in. I have to um, get rid of the contact here with the um, side of my uh, uh, um, gauge bracket. And then I'll put in my two assist straps here as soon as I get uh, my four screws for that. See, they have to fit into the um, little bracket there. So I'm going to go get those right now. Okay, well, I got two kinds of screws for my assist strap. 
So what I wanted to get was an M4.7 times 16. They didn't have it for the oval Phillips machine. Instead, I believe that the right length is gonna be this 0.7 or the 1.6 centimeter. So I'm gonna try this. And uh, first thing I have to do is take my, uh, I'll set this camera up here. First thing I have to do is uh, take these um, brackets and then right at the place where this is, I need to drill the holes for these. So I have my, uh, this guy here, I'm just going to, uh, Here. So let's see if I can get these in, uh, get these assist straps in, and then <clears throat> put these two hooks on. So we'll set this here, see if this can show this strap going in all right well that's what I got in the sis strap looks like this and then this guy here should be able to just slide this in over top. See if that'll go in. Uh, sort of. And then that acts as the hook. There's not much space there, but you would be able to get a hanger in there. So that's the first side. So I'll go ahead and do the second side as well. And that'll be over here. All right. Okay, so I have now got the assist strap, black assist strap, which is good with the contrast against the uh, white, off-white. So I have it on that side, I have it on this side. Dome light I reattached in there, so you can see the, it's still wrinkly headliner, but honestly, I, I don't think it's that, I don't think it looks that bad. And then what I found on the horn is that right here, what happened was this, after wiggling a little bit, it's funny because it worked fine for a couple of weeks and then it rubbed this paint away, you can see, and then it made my horn go off uh, no matter what if I just turn the ignition on. So now I took a screwdriver and I pounded it in between there so it has a, at least a couple millimeter gap and now when I turn this on and then I press the horn, so that looks good. Um, so that's the progress for now. Um, my next steps, you know, I need to, uh, get these two ammeter and, um, voltmeter gauges. I need to run speaker wire down before I, uh, glue in, glue in some of these carpets. The speaker wire is going to come back to back here. And these guys are going to go in the, uh, in this trunk space here with the six by nine speakers. So I first need to run the wire because I have some contact cement coming so that I can glue at least, you know, some of these runner um, carpets, the side carpets I'll glue down, probably these bottom carpets I'll, I won't glue them. Um, and then yes, ammeter, I've got to do that. Um, run the speaker wire, I'll do that. 
and uh yeah that'll uh i also i have a new boot for my um emergency brake and i'll have to do that and then feed it into the hole that i've cut in my um carpets so you can see that the carpets i just kind of had them set in place and those those ones that go up vertically will be glued into place with contact cement um, which is on the way and um yeah that's my uh that's my current status now the car is running great and uh yeah, as I said, it's it's actually super fast, and I'm happy with the um, oil pressure uh, gauge now working. So I, you know, I get 40 pounds of oil pressure all the time. So anyway, that's the current progress. Like or subscribe um, if you want to help me get to a thousand subscribers, and uh, I'll uh, keep going after uh, on my next uh, next project, um, probably tomorrow or the next day. All right.